Hello, and welcome to this library tutorial on using the library resource Primal Pictures from Anatomy TV. To get started, let's navigate to the library website at www.ketchum.edu library. From the databases menu on the right side of the page, click on the Primal Anatomy link. Keep in mind that our access is limited to seven users at a time, so if you're not able to access the resource, try again at a later time. Here we're at the Anatomy TV page. Our access includes the 3D atlas of the different parts of the body, including the head and neck, spine, shoulder and arm, forearm and hand, thorax and abdomen, pelvis, hip, knee, and the leg, ankle, and foot. If you click on other products, there is a section for the clinical knee, which is a more detailed section focusing on the knee, and another tab for quizzes and activities. We're gonna go back to the 3D atlas tab and click on head and neck to start exploring the interactive browser. A new window will appear with all of your options for exploring the content. You can look at the Getting Started window that shows up to look at all of the features that are included, but let's skip past that for now and jump right in. The interactive browser sorts the information into four areas, anatomy 3D views, MRI images, slides, and short movies. Let's take a look at the first section, anatomy. Click on the anatomy button to see a 3D view of the head and neck. The left side of the video shows the structure. The right side has a description text at the top and a structure directory on the bottom, so you can go directly to specific parts of the head and neck. The navigation tools, which act as a remote control, are on the bottom of the page. The 3D views are dynamic and interactive. Using the first three buttons, we can move up and down through the layer views. Move through the layers of muscles, veins, nerves, and right down to the bones. You can at any point click on a point of the structure to bring up a description. You can see as you scroll over the image, it highlights each area. Use the right and left arrows to rotate the structure, as well as zoom in and out. You can also save your current view as an image or print it. You can use the structure directory to navigate to different parts of the head and neck section. As you click on the link and view the descriptions, pay attention to the mode that you're in. It can change from anatomy and move over to MRI, slides, or movies. Let's take it the second area and click on the MRI button. Here we get our 3D views, but they're paired next to MRI images. If you click anywhere on the 3D view, the description and corresponding structure is highlighted. Where you cannot rotate the MRI images, you can change the view planes. For example, you can choose from axial, sagittal, and coronal view. As you click on each view, both the 3D image and the MRI image will change. Moving to the third section, let's click on the slide button at the top of the browser. The slide section is a little different than the previous sections. Here we're going to be working on the file folders at the top right. You can choose from a range of different slides, from anatomy to cadaver to dissection. When you click on the slide, if there is a dynamic information associated with a slide, it will populate the structures in the slide section in the bottom right. You can click on this list and see the specific area highlighted on the image. You can also click on the slide itself to see the corresponding term on the right. The last section is a collection of short movies. Again, we're working from the file directory in the top right. Click to open the category folder that you want and select the movie. Most of the movies are under 10 seconds, focusing on surface anatomy, bone movement, and some dissection clips. Now that you've seen the four main sections of the resource, you can also try out the other features at the top of the browser next to the Start button. First is the Contents folder, which displays all of the content for the current interactive browser. Next is the Index, which allows you to browse through all of the content by subject and structure. The Bookmarks function allows you to save all of your favorite images, slides, and movies, making a quick and easy way to re-navigate to important parts of the resource. The copy web link function allows you to link your selected anatomy views, selected structure, or movie to a document, like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Over in the top right, you can always take advantage of this search box if you don't feel like drilling down through the directory folders. Keep in mind when searching, you're not searching across all anatomy subjects, but just the structure that you initially clicked on in the beginning, such as head and neck. The last feature I want to talk about is back on the home page. Let's check out the product quizzes. Select the section you would like to view and click on it. You can select the number of questions, the question type, and the difficulty. Click on Start Quiz to begin, which will open a quiz browser. From here, you can click on the structure to answer the question presented. 
click mark to submit your answer or pass to move on. Or to get an immediate answer, click on the reveal button. That's the end of this video tutorial. So if you have any questions, please get in touch with the library. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.